white light, warm light, white light, warm light. And what is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I gotta do this vlog really quickly because there is a flash sale, Black Friday sale on Olight. Yeah, 50% I heard. Right, up Alex? to 50%. Oh yeah, up to... Yeah. Even though he's a fanboy, but he is clear. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. What fanboy? Uh -huh. You see? <sighs> so the purpose of my vlog so early today is because I want you guys to take benefit of this sale. So links in the description below. Click the link. Go check out Olight because it's a good Black Friday sale. <laughs> Tonight, we are going to do a review for the Olight Swivel. Swivel, right? Yep. Swivel, yeah. Could this be the only light that I will ever need and bring out with me? We'll find out tonight. But first, let's start off with the unboxing. And here we have the old light swivel. Let's start off with the unboxing. Leave your comments down below. Do you guys enjoy watching unboxing videos? Let's get the plastic off and we are done. And inside the box, we are greeted with the old light swivel. The bottom of the swivel, we have a USB-C. I think as of today, I have a million of this cable. And of course, instruction manual. Feel free to pause the video if you want to see the instructions. Otherwise, it's pretty much straightforward. And here we have the swivel. Let's get the plastic off it. Let's look around and give you a 360 view of the swivel. And before first use, please remove the protective plastic film on the lens. We shall do that. And of course, it's a swivel because you can swivel it around. <laughs> we have an LED on the floodlight. We have an LED on the flashlight. Now you have to take note that the battery is a built-in battery. So once it dies, you die. <laughs> well, what I mean is that it's not replaceable. <laughs> We only have one button on the swivel. It changes mode when you click on it. To switch between flood and flashlight, you also click on it. When charging, there is four blue LED light indicator. Of course, full means all blue light are lighted up. You get the point. All right, let's go back to the vlog. Ooh. Uh, is this safe? Uh, yeah, okay. Whoa. Alex, what is that there? A water tank? Air well. What? Ventilation well. What's a ventilation well? So the gases that actually accumulate under the ground got somewhere to go, so you don't have explosions everywhere. Oh, there are gases in the sewage? Uh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Thanks for the info, Alex. You're Good job. Welcome. And adventure we go! Could this be a night adventure, Alex? Yeah. No? It's night time. Yeah, but we come here all the time, yeah? No. <laughs> you come here all the time. But not by this way. This is new. This is a new passage. So while I'm walking through this adventure, let me tell you a little bit about the old light swivel. This baby has two lights. Yes, one is a flood and a troll. So there is two purpose. If you ever need a flood to light up everything wide, you use the flood light. If you ever need to see a distance far, then you use the troll. Now, the good thing about the swivel is that it's, uh, it swivels. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a mag mag and then there's a carabiner at the back, which is a reverse carabiner. See, reverse. You could hang it into anywhere. It's pretty much a good light for camping, I would say. At the back of the swivel, there are mag mags, which you can mount it on anywhere, like your car or anything metal. And we made it, woo! Darkness all behind me. <laughs> yeah, guys, adventure. Ooh. You want to see something very cool? What? So, as you can see, this is a green corridor, and I'm gonna on the swivel. This here, this is medium brightness, this is high, and this is low. Now let's switch to the troll. This is high. As you can see, yes, the high, it goes a lot further, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we click it again. That's the low. It is still a decent troll, I would say. All right, guys, let me show you the flood light at a closer distance. 
Now over here, this is low. As you can see, low, not a lot, right? Medium, ah, a lot better. You can see the flood, it distributes the light evenly. Very good. And then here is high. Oh yeah, a lot brighter, guys. Now, right in front of me, this is like 10 meters. What do you think, Alex? 10 meters? Oh, look, you light up Alex very well. Yeah. 10 meters, right, Alex? No, 8 maximum. 8? Okay, so it's around 8 meters. Now, one of the beautiful features about the swivel is that if you see around this light, there is actually a little glow-in-the-dark strip. Okay, so let me switch off my camera light and you can see better. See? <laughs> it glows in the dark. How cool is this, Alex? It glows in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to. So you can find it easily. Yep. So let's talk about the specification. For the floodlight, at high, it is 400 lumens and it would last up to 5 hours. For medium, it is 160 lumens and it's for 9 hours. And the lowest mode is 12 lumens and this lasts for 90 hours. That's almost 3 days. That's more than 3 days. Right, Alex? Hours. Yeah. <laughs> 72 hours is 3 days. Well, yeah. Well, that's more than 3 days. That's what I said. Yep. Alright, so now we go with the flashlight, which is the troll, the thrower. At high, it is 200 lumens for 5 hours as well. So I think I should rather use the floodlight, which is 400, which is also 5 hours. At low, this is low, it is 50 lumens for 27 hours. So slightly more than a day. Alright guys, going down to the valley, as always. Whew. So let's talk about the throw distance. For flood, it is 25 meters. For the flashlight, it is 80 meters. That's what it claims. But I'm gonna use it on the valley so you guys get to see how it looks like. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna go down to the valley and Alex is gonna film me and I'm gonna show you the usage of the Swiver, and I also use the Seeker Pro. You gotta be careful now. Alex, you just stay there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright guys. <sighs> I'm in the center of the valley now. And as you can see, this here, what I'm using is the Seeker 3 Pro. I'm gonna increase the brightness. No, in fact, I'm gonna just go Tobo. This is the Seeker 3 Pro Tobo. Can you see? Woo. Wow. Now, I'm gonna use the swivel. This is medium, and this is high. This is high for the swivel. Let me change it to a troll, and this is high for the troll. Woo. Okay, now let me switch on the seeker. So on my left over here, this is the swivel, and on my right, this would be the seeker. Well, you can see a difference. <laughs> Look at our old Bob lighting the place up. <laughs> By the way, the old Bob is also on promotion. So go check it out. I got two of them. One is the MCS and one is the MC. So let's do a quick unboxing for the old Bob MCS. Now I did do a review for the old light MC and this here is the MCS. The difference is, the S stands for sensor. Now over here is the MCA adapter. It comes with the new old bulb MCS. This is the adapter that is going to work with your old bulb. And this is where you use the old bulb while it's charging to get the motion sensor to work. A quick little instruction menu of the MCA. And now this is the old bulb MCS. It looks exactly the same as the MC. No difference. In fact, I got the same color the white color. I wish they would have gave me a different color but all in all you can see same size everything looks similar it's just that one has a sensor and the other one doesn't. Just under the box we have instruction manual also an old light shield magnet is included with this. Now I won't go into all the modes in the old bulb but if you would like to watch an old bulb review I did one before I'll just leave a link now on your top right hand corner. All right Let's get back to the vlog. So here's my user experience with the Olight Swivel. There's a lot of things that I like about this light, but there are some things that I wish it could be better. Let's talk about the build quality. It is very firm and steady. However, I think the plastic, it's a... Uh, yeah, it is a flimsy plastic. Feel like if you drop it from a very high height, 
it might crack. This carabina at the back here, uh, or like take note, carabina is supposed to go inwards, not outwards. Because if you put something and can just slip out this way. So, <laughs> maybe version two. I like the Magnex because Magnex are always great. It's very handy. You can just clip it onto anywhere. You can just clip it on your bag this way. Yeah. Of course, it is water resistance. I love that it's USB-C charge. I think now, mostly everything is USB-C charged now. Now the thing is, when you switch on the swivel, you have to quickly change mode because if you don't change mode quickly, after three seconds, it's just an on and switched off. So if I want to change the brightness, I have to quickly on and press again before three seconds. So maybe they could have included another button, isn't it? But other than that, I think this is a very handy, dandy light. Also, one more thing why this video had to come out so quickly is because now Olight is giving away, well, not giving away, for $1, you can get an i3e. Now, here's a quick look at the i3e. It is a small little flashlight. It requires AAA batteries. I am not going to unbox this. I might do a giveaway for this. We'll see. So, yeah, it's a deal. An open mini. What? It's a pen, a small little pen for $1. No, but this is not a pen. <laughs> yeah. Tell them to go to the site. Oh well, yeah, yeah, go to the site. They, they are giving a lot of free gifts and free stuff. Very cheap stuff. Like one dollar for this, you can put it in your keychain. So go check it out. If you want to buy any Olight -like product in the future or now or today, make sure you use promo code LINEL, all capital, L-I-O-N-E-L. And then you'll get a 10% discount. Of course, with the flash sales, there is no 10% discount. But let's say if this video is outdated or <laughs> You're watching this video a month from now, the promo code LINER will always be there and you will always have a 10% discount. Yeah, I hope I explained that correctly. Right, Alex? Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going back down again to the valley and hopefully we get to see and explore something. <laughs> I don't know what is there to explore, but we are going deeper in because this is the first time I'm actually walking deeper into the valley. So at least you guys get some entertainment from this video and it's not just like a light review video. <laughs> so for those of you who are new to my channel, this is the kind of videos I do. I go out late at night and explore stuff like this valley. <laughs> it is a night adventure. We call it the night adventure. Right, Alex? <laughs> we need to find better things to do with our time. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight is not really a night adventure. It's more of a light review because I don't consider this as a night adventure because it's pretty easy. Not that tough at all. Walk to the left, he says. So these are the stuff that we need to avoid along the way. Oh, it's wet as well. More Gotta left. find more left. That's why you need to get waterproof shoes. Ha! Alex, today I am prepared. Waterproof shoes! Ha 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 ha! No, I'm not afraid. I that. thought you are. No, I should oh, Okay, we are both not afraid. Ha! <sighs> An overflow channel? Yep. Ooh, I didn't know that. So that's why it's the valley. Yeah, and that's why you see all these scripts here. <laughs> so the big question is, will I be using the swivel for a night adventure, for my exploration? Camping, yes. Exploring, not so much. <laughs> okay, so Alex is answering my question. I will bring it with me so that whenever, if I need to stop right here and like change my microphone or change my battery, camera battery or whatever, then yeah, I would mount the swivel somewhere or even put it on the ground and then light up so that I can do my stuff. But to explore, not so much. I would prefer the Seeker 3 Pro to explore. Because look, that darkness can only be light up this way. See? <laughs> now the reason why I talk about warm light, cool light at the beginning of this video is because We're I... Grounded. What? <laughs> Alex says, we are trapped, <laughs> surrounded with water. Marsh. I personally prefer warm light. Cool light, it feels so meh. <laughs> warm light, that's where the contrast comes in. So a big thank you to Lydia from All Light. And now you know as well, Lydia, warm light and cool light. I prefer the tint. I prefer the warm tint. Yeah. This is all mud. <laughs> you okay, Alex? I think he's okay. Okay, moving forward to the valley. We have come all the way here at the valley, but in front, it's filled with mud. I think today 
not really a very good day to go all the way. Are you prepared to go all the way? No, with expensive camera equipment, I'm not. <laughs> okay, it looks dry here, Alex. Moving forward. Whew. Okay. Oh, don't charge in? <laughs> okay, Alex, you... <laughs> okay, fine. You go in front, I'll follow you. <laughs> if you didn't know what Alex was talking about, there was a night adventure that was once I went and <laughs> I actually fell and I went swimming. <laughs> I made a video about it, so I'll leave a link here if you haven't watched it. But yeah, I nearly drowned and died. <laughs> so that's why Alex says I didn't learn my lesson. It's always good to go out with Alex because he's the expert. He is trained. He is a survival. That's what I've been saying all this time. I'm just lazy. Why? Why are you lazy? Huh? Don't you like adventure? Okay, so the idea is now we are really at the end of the valley. We have never come to the end of the valley before because I heard that there is a trail here. And look, there is a trail. Alex, there is a trail. Wow. So this is the end and you can see guys, there is a trail over there. Uh, there's a trail but I don't think I like where it's going. Why? Right into freaking trees. But that's adventure, Alex. That's night uh, adventure. Rainy weather, branches <laughs> breaking. You know, you want to be a shish kebab, go ahead. All right, guys. There is a trail. There is a trail at the end of the valley. Now, if you want us to go into this trail, leave a like. How many likes then we'll do this? Probably like maybe 200 likes. Okay, fine. Don't blame me. Alex say 200 likes. 200 likes for this video and then we'll take a night adventure on this trail and we'll see where we end up. <laughs> it is a full moon tonight guys. Look at the sky and I can see all the stars. Wow Alex, today we can see stars. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, <laughs> the valley. Anyways guys, I think that's pretty much it for tonight's vlog. I hope you enjoyed tonight's vlog and the review for the all like swivel remember links in the description below go check out all like website and use promo code liner if you need to all right guys thank you for watching you guys keep smiling see ya <laughs> Ooh, there is an ants on my lcd <sighs> yeah insects do exist over here plenty of them especially when there's lights around they attract all the insects and flies <laughs> do you know for every human there's actually like a, about a million ants Oh, climbing up. I'm getting old for this, man. Yeah, you are the one that always complain when you're climbing up here, then you want to go and climb there. I got no problem, I also keep quiet, my goodness. I do it for my viewers, Alex. I don't do it for me. And this is why I have a YouTube channel, Alex. Yeah. This is why I upload consistently. Where's your YouTube channel, Alex? Huh? They are all waiting. I have a day job. So the answer is no, guys. The swivel will not be the only light that I use because it wouldn't be great for exploring. I would still need the seeker tree or my other flashlights. <laughs> and of course, more flashlight, the better. Just in case if one ran out of battery. They always tell us, one is none, two is one. You even see how many flashlights I'm carrying on me. Oh yeah, somebody was saying in the comment section, this guy wearing SBO. Huh, SBO? Yeah, not today, but the other day. Okay, Yeah. it's not the SBO. <laughs> if I'm wearing my SBO, you know. Down the slope we go. <sighs> Be careful. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what a high heel. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alex, be careful. <laughs> Take your time. Slow down. Walk sideways. Why am I teaching the survivor? He's the survivor. He should know better. <laughs> No fast, no must. The O like survivor. 200 likes, huh, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Shaq made that video with me, the night adventure. Okay. He asked for 100 likes and we can't even hit 100 likes for that video. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you're asking 200 likes. You're yeah. being really unfair to my viewers, isn't it? No, I'm being realistic. <laughs> because I don't want to climb that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, prove Alex wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, 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 right. I get like 500 views. If everybody who view and hit the like button, it's easy. It's not that everybody does it. That's the problem. 